Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. What? You know what's up. It's Flat Belly Friday. I love Flat Belly Fridays. I get so many people telling me thank you for that Flat Belly Friday. So today it's going to be mostly sitting, standing. Um, we are not going to be down on the ground, um, but we're going to be engaging all parts of our body, but we're going to be focused on core. We're going to do a bonus exercise at the end of it. A lot of us have weak ankles, so I want to really address that ankle issue. So we're gonna do a calf and ankle workout at the end, okay? Good morning, Fern, what's happening? Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is a chair sit to stand. If you're more advanced, you're gonna do a single leg chair sit to stand. Then we're gonna do some side reaches. We're gonna do some high knee taps. We're gonna do some squat side wide knee taps then we're going to do some alternating leg raises and we're going to get right into that bonus boy oh boy am i sore from yesterday i it was a leg day yesterday for me besides the arm workout that we did in the morning and so my butt and legs are super sore today sometimes you think you're in shape and then you're just not so let's get started i'm gonna take a sip of my coffee and we're gonna get started with our warm up. So, we're gonna be working core, and we're gonna get right into that warm up today. So, ah, let me move this out of the way. I don't need that today. Um, we are going to be doing, of course, good mornings. Legs are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and toes are facing forward, weights in the heels and glutes. You're gonna press down, soften the knees, look underneath, and then open up all the way. Press down and open up. Nice, deep breath in and exhale. Squeeze those glutes, holy cow. My glutes are sore all the way up to my lats from the leg work that we did yesterday. Woo. Focused work is gonna get you focused results. So if you wanna work on a specific body part, you need to be really focused on that, okay? It doesn't mean that you stop doing the rest of your body, but let's say you do that body part three days a week and the rest of the week you're working on everything. <sighs> Last one. Okay, let's do some squat reaches. So a squat and reach to the side, open up those obliques. Oh my goodness, my obliques are sore. Whew. Holy cow. Six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. Two more. Two. Squat, open palm twist. So squat, Open palm twist, right? Get it, squeeze that glute when you turn back, pull the core in, heads turning to the back wall in this, we're warming up that core. Our legs, our glutes, mine are on fire, and press down. We've got three more, one, two, and last one, best one, shake it out. Okay, you ready for some step jacks? Or, <laughs> my hair is in my face. Let's, let's pull that out of the way, or a jumping jack. Ready? Here we go. Step jacks, <sighs> step jack. Really focus on equal weight on both legs. Focus on that core being locked up. You're really pressing through this. Every move is super exaggerated, okay? Or you're jumping. Six, seven, pull the core in. Don't let it drop, pull it in. Don't want it bouncing. Everything needs to stay locked up. Hold those boobies in. Nice, tight chest muscles. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Whoops, forgot the last one. Here we go. <laughs> Woo. 
too much going on in my brain today, obviously. <sighs> Let's warm up those arms. Okay, I know they're sore from yesterday. So out to the side, we're gonna do some airplanes. Fingers wide open. Keep them wide open, extend them. Turn under and back up. If you have arm shoulder issues, bring it down lower. Okay? Turn it up and under. Squeeze, squeeze those shoulder blades. Make sure that your shoulder blades are pinching through this whole thing. Your rib cage is locked up. Eight, nine, 10, two more. One, open them up. Two, open those fingers, shake that out. Ooh, you can really feel that in this outside of your bicep when those fingers are spread out wide, okay? So here we go, we're gonna do a chair, sit to stand. If you are able to, and you're strong enough, single leg chair, sit to stand. So here we go. Um, I'm hopeful this chair is not gonna slide out from under me. So I'm gonna show you sit to stand first. Ankles are in line with the knees. Arms are straight out. Pull the core in. Stand through the heels and glutes, okay? When you stand up, I want you to squeeze the glutes together and then back down. And squeeze the glutes together and back down. We're doing 10 of these. I'm gonna show you the single leg here in just a second. Five, back down. Six, feet are shoulder width apart. Seven, Okay, here comes single leg. Here we go, guys. One leg's up, and you're pressing through the floor. Woo! And back down. And up, and down. And up, and down. Focus, single leg. Wah! Glute, and down. We're gonna switch the other side for the single leg, and press up. Nice and balanced. Send some love into that balance muscle. Back down, don't drop and down, back up, and down, press through, up, last one, and down. Chair sit to stand. The next thing we're gonna do are side reaches. Ooh, I'm already sweating. Take this thing off. Side reaches, so one arm up, shoulders relaxed. If you're not able to have that shoulder up, you can keep it bent over here, okay, just like this, the elbow's just below the shoulder, and you're doing a side reach, side reach, or your arm is up, side reach. Whew. Reach down, straight down. Whew. Want the top arm moving too. Whew. Three, four, five, six, keep going. So remember, you're doing 40 seconds of these and it's really focused movement. So you're pinching at the end, pinch that oblique and back up. Pinch and hold and back up. Three more, two, one. And switch sides, arm up, shoulder relax, press. Squeeze those obliques. Pull in through the pelvic floor. Everything is locked up. That rib cage is fully engaged. Knees are soft, they are always soft. Do not lock up the joints. Make sure that you've got pressure in between your thighs too. You want them firing, okay? So like you're holding a pillow or a ball and you can even do that for more advanced work. And with this, you could use a weight as well. Three, two, really reach with that top hand. One, whew. Okay, we're gonna do high knee taps. I'm gonna turn to the side because I want you to see how high my knees are. Arms are out in front. If you cannot reach your hands, that's okay. Your hands are not coming down to reach the knee. The knee's going up to the hand. So up, up, as high as you can. Focus on your balance. That's five, six, keep going guys, 
seven. Make sure you're breathing. High as you can, keep those arms up. Do not tap the knees. Knee comes up to that elbow as high as you can. Press it in. Whew. Oh, three, two, and one. Whew. Shake that out. Okay, we're doing a squat to a side wide elbow knee tap. Okay, so squat legs are a little bit wider on this squat. Toes can be slightly turned out, not at a 45 like we're doing a sumo squat. Just slightly turned out because your legs are a little wider. And you're gonna go down, come up, knee tap. Squat, knee tap. Whew, knee tap. So my elbow is going behind my knee. My knee is staying out to the side. It's going down soft, I'm not dropping the knee. Upper body is up, chin up, chest up, right? Shoulders back, that athletic position. Woo! Nine, 10, 11, get it. 12, switch sides, here we go. Deep breath in, and squat, knee tap. Okay, yeah, these are killer. Not only for your legs, but your obliques. Those deep obliques. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, 10, two more. One, and last one. Shake it out. Okay, alternating leg raises. <sighs> nice deep breath in. Arms are gonna be out to the side. This is a little bit of a ballet move. They don't have to be up at shoulder, but I want them out at side, kind of soft. Shoulders are soft. You're still in that, that athletic uh, stance. Chin up, chest up, right, shoulders back. Here we go. Alternating kicks. That's it. Alternating leg raises. Straight out in front. Four. Five. Pull it in. We're working those rectus abdominis muscles. I don't know about you all, but I'm sweating already. Nine. Squeeze. Ten. Straight leg. Point that toe. Ballet moves. Two more. One, two. Whew. Shake that out. My arms are a little tight with that. So, bonus exercise. We're going to do some calf raises. So, a lot of us, our ankles get kind of weak as we get older because we're not used to using them a whole lot when we walk flat foot, just walking flat foot. So, if you try to take off, you kind of get this little sprain sometimes. So let's strengthen the ankles, and the only way to do that is with calf raises, okay? You can also put weights on your ankles and do foot circles. It's really important, full rotation. You can do the standing or sitting. Standing, you're definitely working on your balance, and both ways, in and out. This is gonna strengthen that ankle region circles, we're gonna go on the other leg here in just a second, and other foot circles to the outside with those ankles, full rotations all the way around. Nice focus on that ankle. You can do these sitting, standing, on the floor, laying on your back, whichever one you want. Super easy, holding a chair, holding a wall. Switch sides, we're going inside rotations now. Get that synovial fluid warming up that ankle joint. Swing it around. Whew. Nice focus on the balance. Two and one. Okay, so let's do some calf raises. This is also going to help with your balance and mobility as well 
ankle is strengthening the area around the ankles. So the first thing you're gonna do is start with your feet, shoulder width apart, straight ahead, toes are facing forward, everything's pulled in and tight. You're squeezing through your glutes in this as well, as well as your hamstrings. Hand on whatever you want to hang on to. You don't have to hang on to something, but I kind of recommend it so you get that full range of motion. So we're talking dynamic flexion and extension. So we're gonna extend first. Actually, this is the flexion part of it. Flex and extend back down and flex all the way up on those ankles. Get them high as you can and down. You notice I'm holding at the top of that, right? Hold, 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 and back down. So you're gonna do 10 of these, okay? And you can see that sometimes the ankles tend to rock and roll down there, right? So you really wanna focus on equal weight on the pad of the foot. Your toes are still able to move, but you have equal weight on that pad. Back down and up. This is something we did in gymnastics and ballet for years and years and years. Last one, squeeze those calves and back down. The next thing you're gonna do is go into second position. Again, knees are not locked up. They are slightly bent. My knees hyperextend, so sometimes they look like they're straight, but they're not. So, feet are in second position, knees are bent, core is engaged, glutes are tight and squeezed, and you're lifting up the same way, Dynamic flexion and extend down. Flexion and extend down. Squeeze all the way up, get those ankles high. This is something I do with my clients that have arthritis, that are having real problems moving their joints. And I have clients who have increased their range of motion 50% in a two month period by just doing these a couple times a week. And their balance has increased as well. So, huge, 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 soft knees. I know my legs look straight, but they're not. Whew. Two more. Whew -hoo. Last one, squeeze up. See those heels are in and back down. The next one we're gonna do is your toes are gonna be turned in. Again, the knees are soft. Your feet aren't together. You're definitely gonna feel when your toes are turned in, you'll feel this up the side of your leg. Make sure the knees are bent, okay? Don't want any knee injury. Same thing, you're gonna lift up on those toes, keep the heels kicked out and back down. Raise up and out with those heels and back down. You should also feel this in your hip flexors if you're doing this right, okay? That calf muscle runs all the way up into your shoulder, <laughs> okay? Kinetic chain, everything's connected, right? Knee bones connected to the ankle bone, all of it, it's all connected. Kinetic chain starts in the center and works its way up and down. And we've got four more all the way up on those toes, all the way back down, making sure everything is where it's supposed to be by looking down like that, but I'm not bending my body when I look down. I'm just looking where my feet and heels are. Whew. Last one. Squeeze through those glutes. What? And down. Whew. Shake those legs out. Get after it. Two to three more sets. You guys are rock stars. Remember, your body doesn't know it's the weekend, so stay solid. Great seeing you guys all here. Have a great Friday.